with YouTube. It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. Back in the building. Back in effect. Back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. I'm trying to tell you, we back like we never left. When I, when I say that, I really, really, truly mean that. Yeah. Man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in, tapping in with us. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be jumping into something new. We're going to be jumping into Bob Dylan. The title of this one is Like a Rolling Stone. Uh, yeah, so we're going back a bit. We're going back a bit. This, I guess this could be deemed an oldie, so... Okay, yeah, I think so too. I was gonna say, yeah, this is probably like a little throwback, but Mr. Bob I don't know. Dylan. Yeah. But yeah, Bob Dylan has been requested a lot on our channel, so we're gonna tap in today. Yeah. If you haven't already, be sure you head over to my blog channel. I'm just Asia, y'all. Tap into the content. I also have a reaction channel. I'm still Asia. Drop them by your reaction, y'all. The links will be in the description for both of those channels, so make sure y'all check them out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe as well. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss yeah. any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into this one, like a Rolling Stone. Yeah, let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Hey, I'm here for it. Let's go. <laughs> musicality in this one too you hear a lot of different variations of just like musical instruments that's one thing that i hear as far as like like the live instrumentation mm -hmm. is definitely on point with this song and then bob dylan as well as far as like his voice and how he sounds i, I like the song a lot as far as what he's what he's speaking about in, in regards to like a rolling stone like you didn't even think that you would you wouldn't have a home um i mean for me i, f I feel like like to me what he's talking about because at first i you know i was i was like you i was actually just kind of listening to the music part of it but then you know just really honing in on what he's talking about like i for one you know you probably know i mean i can relate to this there there was a time in you my feel life like you live like a rolling stone i mean where i, I was i was yeah. homeless at one point i was living in in on the street hell in a car like hopefully to, to find the next place to find something to eat or to trying to make a deal to stealing food and you know just all the means of everything i had to do hell basically to survive mm -hmm. you know what i mean and 
this song definitely I can I can relate a, a lot to it because I can mm. understand that I know exactly what that feels like where you don't even know where your next meal is gonna that come feel from. It. and he he say, he says it over and over again like how does it feel yeah how does it feel to be like a rolling stone you basically just kind of go with the flow of life because you don't know what what's gonna come to you next what's yeah. gonna what's gonna happen in the next minute what's gonna happen in the next, next hour, hour tomorrow I mean, but where, it, where are you gonna end up tomorrow you know it literally be like that sometimes yeah. you know what i mean like it and sometimes it felt like like that you know what i mean mm-hmm. not even knowing where i was gonna sleep at night and sometimes sleeping in the freaking car i mean if if i was lucky enough to even find one to sleep in you know yeah. what i mean so i mean i get it yeah you know like Wow, I mean, that's the it, definition of a Rolling Stone. Yeah, wherever that wherever that Rolling Stone land, that's where it's, that's where you're gonna be. tell you how does it how does it actually really feel to be a rolling stone mm. and another profound part that he was like saying over and over and again in regards to like the chorus uh that really resonated with me over over and over again is when he said like you know you operating as a complete unknown it's like you like you really flying under the radar especially like when you're a rolling stone you yeah. don't you don't have uh and you don't even really necessarily have like a direction you know, yeah. it's like like you said, it's just like wherever the wind blows, that's where you're going to end up at. I mean, but, that's what it feels like, though. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like like, you know, on so many different occasions, like even even in, in like that time period of my life, I just that's exactly what it felt like was like not knowing what what was next. Like days like hell, you you would go a whole day without eating or two. 
sometimes if 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 that's just how how it was and sometimes you get lucky like somebody would give you something or mm. like you know and and you know not to mention the people who you do encounter that know that you in the position that you in sometimes they're like you sometimes they're not like you but those people aren't always good people either. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when you encounter those people, That's like true. you said, like people, <clears throat> the you gamblers, know, doing the, tricks and stuff the scammers, like that. Like, things of that nature. You, you, know, can, you come across all those all different those types things. of characters. Thieves, and, you know, like you, ne- you <clears throat> never know like what type of person you're going to encounter. Like, and it's just like, at the end of the day, it's like, that's just kind of part of being Rolling Stone. It's like, you just kind of go with the flow of things yeah. and, and you just take it how it comes and you adjust accordingly. Like, and that's the thing is like, it's, it's scary. It is scary. Yeah. It's traumatizing for some people. You know what I mean? Like myself Definitely. included. I Definitely. shoot, you know, I, that's just a little piece of that story. But like the, the ending of that was traumatizing, like to, to the worst degree, to the, to the 10th degree. <laughs> you know what basically. I mean? Like, I mean, and then also, you know, another thing that I'm thinking about is in regards to like Bob Dylan, uh, I really, I'm really kind of trying to think like in regards to like the headspace that he was in when he wrote this song in regards to like like a Rolling Stone, what he really, really, truly meant. Probably by like, like a Rolling Stone. I know it, it kind of has some connotation to like to somebody that's kind of not necessarily like a homeless person, but just somebody that's like a drifter that just kind of. Uh, I was gonna say you know, probably like in his state of like you know what he does. Been on like, tour, always gone. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it probably feels that way that you are like you know you are who you are, but you're still like nobody yeah. to a lot of people because. You don't you don't have time to build any type of like you know quality in the relationships that you encounter with people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like you just kind of feel like you just a feather in the wind. Like I'm just here. Like you know, because at it's, the end of the day, people are telling you what you're doing next. Like where you going? Where you need to be? Who you need? You know, just like an artist like that that's always gone constantly on tour. Yeah, exhausted from tour. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I mean, I, I can get it from a, a multitude of perspectives. It's it's not just you know the homeless perspective. It's hell. You can be rich yeah. and still feel like a little Rolling Stone because at the end of the day, it's like you just live in a bubble. Yeah, because you don't have your <laughs> you don't have your true foundation. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So I, I can get that. But y'all yeah, definitely y'all drop a comment in regards to this Bob Dylan song. Kind of let us know what's like the build up around like the title of the song and and, and the true meaning or the or the meaning to you. You know. What yeah. I mean? Yeah, maybe it's yeah. how you how you perceive it. So, mm-hmm. if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Believe it, believe it. Yeah, Bye. speak it, believe it, receive it. Mm-hmm.